Hi, so in relation to this point that you've been experiencing where you kind of always have this battle going on inside yourself where you feel inferior, not good enough, um, you know, you find yourself comparing and you just overall have trouble accepting yourself. What is coming forth is this sort of grayish color with a blue tinge to it and for you, but like this is for you specifically, this color. And for you, it's saying, or the message that's coming through is that it's kind of an automatic and inherent part of comparison when you go and compare yourself in your mind. Like when you step into, like when you're looking at other people, how they live their lives, thing, what they do, and you're looking at people from that in within that sort of subtle dimension in your mind of you're comparing yourself you know you kind of go and wonder about should I be doing that and am I good enough because I don't do what that person is doing you know should I be doing what that person is doing what automatically uh, becomes part of that is that inner struggle, that inner battle and that inner fighting of um, not, not, it's like you start doubting yourself, you know, it's this dimension of self-doubt that creeps in. It's just a, a part of comparing yourself in your mind with other people. You automat you will always automatically start to doubt yourself and from the self-doubt comes all the back chat and the thoughts about well maybe I'm not good enough and maybe I'm a failure because I wasn't able to do what this person did or did or what I wasn't able to achieve this or that or you know maybe I'm just not good enough because look at my life and look at that person's life and look I haven't done any of the things that that person has done so maybe I am not good enough and maybe I am a failure I mean you have to understand that the moment you start step into that way of looking at your reality in the context of comparison where you start comparing yourself you are going to be automatically inviting and participating in all of those kind of dimensions as well the dimensions of the back chat and the thoughts and the experiences of not feeling worthy thinking you're not good enough feeling inferior feeling like a failure feeling disappointed in yourself and uh, feeling like your relationship with yourself is has become a struggle has become conflicted like you're almost like fighting with yourself in conflict with your own self and your own self-worth and your own self-esteem and so what's interesting about this color like this grayish kind of color the there's something comforting about this color. That's what it feels like. And the comforting aspect of this color is actually have to do with how the gray reminds me of cement, like just staring at a cement wall. And the comforting point or aspect about that is just how you're not looking at anybody else. You know, you're not occupying your brain, your mind, with thoughts about other people, pictures, images of what you've maybe seen on social media, where people share everything about how they're living their lives and the things that they're doing. Um, you know, there's no, you, you, there's, there's no one, there's nothing going on. You're not looking at anybody, you're not looking at anything. So the, the cement wall is just like, there's just you. Just like, okay, there's only me here. And there's no comparison. And when there's no comparison, there's no self-doubt. There's no inferiority. There's no insecurity. There's no inner battle of, am I good enough? Am I not good enough? You know, there's no, like, polarity of superiority, inferiority, good enough, not good enough. There's none of that. So basically, instead of looking out of a window in that wall, instead of looking out of a window where you see everybody else and you see so much movement and you see other people and you get all these opportunities to go and compare yourself 
instead of that with this color it's like oh no you're just looking at the cement wall and there's just no there's just nothing going on there's nothing stimulating you or triggering you to go and start to compare yourself because that's when and how comparison in your mind triggers and starts and that's how it happens when you're for example um you know looking at other people you always have to see the picture or there's always something that's going to trigger and stimulate you to start going into comparison for example social media or just being out and about and watching other people looking at other people so within this what this color is basically also saying is watch out for how and where and when and how much your mind gets stimulated uh, how and where and when these trigger points happen uh, how where and when does your mind get triggered you know what what happens when your mind gets triggered to for you to start comparing yourself which then cascades and escalates into self-doubt into feeling insecure into self-esteem issues uh, inferiority feeling like you're not good enough feeling like you're a failure etc etc so um you know when where and how does your mind get stimulated what is the picture that enters your mind that triggers the comparison which triggers um, the cascading events of you eventually feeling like you're a failure in your own life and like you are so much inferior to um, whatever or whoever it is that you feel inferior to so um, find the point of stimulation find your trigger point um, where that sort of gives your mind access to or where your mind starts accessing this programming of comparison with all the drama that ensues so to speak you want to basically become aware of and become in control of so to speak of um those conscious thoughts like those tiny little um seemingly innocent thoughts that seep into your mind in the form of for example a picture just a picture of another person a picture of a person that you've seen um a picture of someone in a magazine or on social media or just a friend or a coworker or a family member it's um, it's these tiny little seemingly innocent thoughts that then trigger your mind into a whole emotional storm which then affects and defines your self-esteem and ends up with you believing that you're inferior and that you're a failure and all of these kind of things where you go and attack yourself so it it really starts with the most seemingly innocent little thoughts things that are just you know pictures just a thought just you thinking or pondering about a person that you've seen so so you just want to start becoming aware of and getting a handle on um, those kind of thoughts like when and how and where do those particular thoughts enter your mind how are you and where are you allowing those little tiny thoughts to enter into your mind and take away your focus from yourself and trigger all of these other consequential emotions and thoughts that you end up having about yourself so basically the real problem here isn't so much all of these emotions that you've been sort of existing under or in like the inferiority and the failure or the sense of not being good enough you know it's these really big emotions that have such a big effect on your self-esteem like that's not the actual problem here like the actual problem is um where does your mind get the opportunity to start reacting in that way to start to be triggered and to be stimulated to go into all of that that's what you want to look at actually that's what that's the real 
issue here is the the comparison. Where does your mind start comparing and what are the tiny little thoughts that your mind uses to compare with and to start activating that comparison, which is almost like the, the engine for all of these big emotions to then be generated inside of you. When and where, in other words, do you tend to spend more time thinking about what other people are doing? Um, yeah, when and where do you tend to sort of almost go into a state of daydreaming? You know, like thinking, pondering, almost daydreaming about wondering about other people and their lives um, where you are not busy placing that focus and attention and, and effort and energy into you just living your life and you just working on yourself, just, you know, living your own life and working on yourself, building yourself, establishing yourself, walking whatever points that you're busy walking that are relevant to your life. Because the thing is as well, when you start thinking about other people and start focusing on other people, you start getting entangled with their lives, you know, what they're doing, which really has nothing to do with you because your life is specific to who you are and you're unique. We're all unique. We all live unique lives in the sense that our life is our own. We, it's like we, you can't compare yourself to anybody else because everything that you need to walk and face and establish and create etc etc within your own life is very very specific to you your history your beingness your your mind your everything that you've created or that you've you know been and become just you so there's just no comparison with anybody else so Whenever you're busy comparing yourself to anybody else, you need to also remember and realize that um, you're just taking away your focus and your energy that you should be spending on just yourself and um, just focusing on what you're able to focus on and, and work on in your own life. You're kind of wasting all of that energy and focus on something that has no relationship with you and your life something that's just not relevant to who you are okay so i'll leave it here for now for this reading let me know if this makes sense and if you can relate and if that supports and if you have any questions or comments is always welcome okay thank you so much bye